Welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. And today, we are going to talk about the harvest in the Law of One. If you go back, I have about four episodes so far where I've discussed the Law of One. It would take too long to explain, but the, the best summary I can give you, it's an advanced, higher dimension, sixth density intelligence communicating to human beings in a verifiable recordable method that gave out incredible information about our past and our future, the way the universe works, about life and death. And it's an amazing reading, an amazing book. You can get a full reading and you can listen to everything that's ever been channeled uh, for the Law of One at lawofone.info. And, uh, but I have several episodes I've talked about there, the concept of the higher self as it's discussed in the law of one. I've also tried to do an episode about the intelligent infinity that's discussed in the law of one. And so those are things that seem to be catalysts for expansion of entire uh, planetary systems and civilizations. And what is really, really interesting to me is if you go back and look at even large channeled works, uh, a lot of them have this concept that every 75,000 years that the planet goes through an automatic shift and it's timed out in 25,000 year increments. And we are going through a cycle, a cycle that is just common to intelligent species that develop its energy centers and integration into greater levels of consciousness and reality. And if you listen to Bentino Massaro, who also has pretty good knowledge of the law of one, he says the word harvest, as it's discussed by the person channeling Carla Ruckert, is actually because of her original concepts of God from the Bible. If you watch the law of one or listen to the law of one they did use a bible nearby because that what that was what she sensed as a very spiritual object and so the word harvest may be used just because of the instrument that that's using it um it's kind of a scary idea i don't want to be harvested uh that the word itself implies that um that i'm nothing more than just a plant that's being cut off from the vine so the, sometimes i don't like that term the harvest but I think that what is there, there's an incredible transformation that occurs very much like caterpillar to butterfly. Uh, when you transform from a human into the next level of fourth dimensional, fourth density being at a higher level of consciousness, as we're going up these different densities, it's very much as if you were to look at your, your pet dogs and cats. And imagine what they think of you. They have no concept of you on that level of intelligence. Well, the next level is such a higher level. It's like we are pets right now to what that higher level is on a level of awareness, knowledge, power that is beyond the realm of our possible imaginings. So that is one concept that I have with it. And if you go and check my recent episode on Edgar Cayce's um, interpretation of the book of revelations it looks like that's what that book is really talking about is the transformation of the human vehicle through the endocrine system which is discussed in the law of one through the opening of the different ray centers as discussed in previous episodes so what i've done in like other episodes i have all the references to harvest that we're going to go over and see what the harvest is about so we can understand i may not say i am raw every time the questioner asks, to begin with, can you say anything about the coming planetary changes? I am raw. I prefer to wait until this instrument had again reached the proper state of depth, of singleness, or one-pointedness before we spoke. The changes are very, very trivial. We do not concern ourselves with the conditions which bring about harvest. I think it would be appropriate to discover how the law of one acts in this transfer of beings to our planet and the action of harvest. I am Ra. The law of one states simply that all things are one, that all things and beings are one. There are certainly behaviors and thought forms consonant with the understanding and practice of this law. 
those who, finishing a cycle of experience, demonstrate various grades of distortion of that understanding of thought and action will be separated by their own choice into the vibratory distortion most comfortable to their mind-body-spirit complexes. The process is guarded or watched by those nurturing beings who, being very close to the law of one in their distortions, nevertheless have the distortion towards active service. Thus, the illusion is created of light, or more properly but less understandably light love. This is in varying degrees of intensity. The spirit complex of each harvested entity moves along the line of light until the light grows too glaring at which time the entity stops. This entity may have barely reached the third density or may be very, very close to ending of the third density light love distortion vibratory complex. Nevertheless, those who fall within this octave of intensifying light love then experience a major cycle during which the opportunities are many for the discovery of the distortions which are inherent in each entity and therefore the lessening of these distortions. I can act like I understand the difference between light and light love. There's the obvious understanding, but there may be something more specific that I'm missing. Questioner asks, what is the position of this planet with respect to progression of the cycle at this time? This sphere is at this time in fourth dimension vibration. Its material is quite confused due to the society memory complexes embedded in its consciousness. It has not made an easy transition to the vibrations which beckon. Therefore, it will be fetched with some inconvenience. Is this Inconvenience imminent within a few years. Remember, this is being read in about 1984. This inconvenience or disharmonious vibratory complex has begun several of your years in the past. It shall continue unabated for a period of approximately 3030 of your years. After this 30 year period, I'm assuming we will be a fourth dimension or fourth density planet. Is that correct? this is so is it possible to estimate what percentage of the present population will inhabit the fourth density planet raw the harvesting is not yet thus estimation is meaningless questioner the way i understand the process of evolution of a planetary population is that a population has a certain amount of time to progress this is generally divided into three 25,000 year cycles and the end of 75,000 years the planet progresses itself. What caused this situation to come about? Preciseness of the years, 25,000 years, etc. What set this up to begin with? I am raw. Visualize, if you will, the particular energy which outward flowing and inward coagulating formed the tiny realm of the creation governed by your council of Saturn. Continue seeing the rhythm of this process. The living flow creates a rhythm, which is an inevitable as one of your timepieces. Each of your planetary entities begin the first cycle when the energy nexus was able in that environment to support such mind-body experiences. Thus, each of your planetary entities is on a different cyclical schedule, as you might call it. The timing of these cycles is a measurement equal to a portion of intelligent energy. This intelligent energy offers a type of clock. The cycles move as precisely as a clock strikes your hour. Thus, the gateway from intelligent energy to intelligent infinity opens regardless of circumstances on the striking of the hour. When a graduation occurs and an entity or entities move at the end of a cycle from one planet to another, by what means do they go from one planet to the other? I am Ra. In the scheme of the Creator, the first step of the mind body spirit totality beingness is to place its mind body spirit complex distortion in the proper place of love light this is done to ensure proper healing of the complex and eventual attunement with the totality beingness complex this takes a very variable length of your time space after this is accomplished the experience of the cycle is dissolved and filtered until only the distillation of distortions in pure form remains. At this time, the harvested mind-body-spirit-totality-beingness evaluates 
the density needs of its beingness and chooses the more appropriate new environment for either a repetition of the cycle or moving forward into the next cycle. This is the manner of the harvesting, guarded and watched over by many. When the entity is moved from one planet to the next, is he moved in thought or in a vehicle? The mind-body-spirit totality beingness is one with the Creator. There is no time-space distortion. Therefore, it is a matter of thinking the proper locus in the infinite array of time-spaces. Questioner, you said the entities from Maldek might go to some may go to the fourth density negative. Are there people who go out of our present third density to places in the universe and serve which are fourth density self-service or negative type of planets? Your question is unclear. Please restate. As our cycle ends and graduation occurs, is it possible for anyone to go from this third density to a fourth density planet that is a self-service type or negative type? We grasp how the specificity of your query in this harvest, the probability possibility vortex indicates and harvest though small of this type, that is correct. So going back, they mentioned Maldek. Maldek is a planet which is most likely the asteroid that's belt that's been destroyed, that went to war and destroyed themselves, according to Ra in other versions and in other uh, segments Ra explains that Maldek uh, that people from Maldek exist um, souls from Maldek exist on earth so the next question what is the density level of our planet earth at this time the sphere upon which you dwell is third density in its beingness of mind body spirit complexes it is now in a space-time continuum fourth density this is causing a somewhat difficult harvest how does a third density planet become a fourth density? I am Ra. This will be the last full question. The fourth density is, as we have said, as regularized in its approach as the striking of a clock upon the hour. The space time of your solar system has enabled this planetary sphere to spiral into space time of a different vibrational configuration. This causes the planetary sphere to be able to be molded by these new distortions. However, the thought forms of your people during this transition period are such that the mind-body-spirit complexes of both individual and societies are scattered throughout the spectrum instead of becoming able to grasp the needle, shall we say, and point the compass in one direction. Thus, the entry into the vibration of love, sometimes called by your people the vibration of understanding, is not effective with the present societal complex. Thus, the harvest shall be such that many will repeat the third density cycle. The energies of your wanderers, your teachers, and your adepts at this time are all bent upon increasing the harvest. However, there are few to harvest. Would there be any value to the people of this planet now, at this time, to complete this machine. The harvest is now. There is not at this time any reason to include efforts along these distortions towards longevity, but rather to encourage distortions toward seeking the heart of self for which resides clearly in the violet ray energy field will determine the harvesting of each mind-body-spirit complex. The trauma, I'll just call it that, I assume this will, as the cycle ends, have some in inconvenience. There will be some entities who start seeking or getting catalyzed, or, and you might say, into seeking because of the trauma, and will then maybe hear your words through possibly telepathy or written materials such as we will publish as this book. You are correct, except in understanding that the inconveniences have begun. Is there a harvest of entities to oriented towards service to self? like there is a harvest here of entities oriented towards service to others. There is one harvest. Those able to enter fourth density through vibrational complex levels may choose the manner of their further seeking of the one creator. Then, as we enter the fourth density, there will be a, spirit, a split, shall we say, and part of the individuals who go into the fourth density will go to planets or places 
where there is service to others and the other part will go into places where there is service to self. Is this correct? I am Ra. This is correct. I am assuming it is not necessary for an individual to understand the law of one to go from third to fourth density. Is this correct? It is absolutely necessary that an entity consciously realize it does not understand in order for it to be harvestable. Understanding is not of this density. That is a very important point. I used the wrong word. What I meant to say was, I believe that it was not necessary for an entity to be consciously aware of the law of one to go from third to fourth density. This is correct. Thank you very much. I wish to say again, consider it an honor, great honor, and also a privilege. And I would like to reiterate that my questions may sometimes go off a little off because I keep going on something that I had already started to work into the applications of the law of one to better understand primarily the free will principle and further distortions that we discover. I got three questions just now in meditation. I'll ask them before we continue. First, we are now in the fourth density. Will the effects of the fourth density increase in the next 30 years? Will we see more changes in our environment and our effect upon our environment? The fourth density is a vibrational spectrum. Your time-space continuum has spiraled your planet sphere and your, what we would call galaxy, what you call star, into this vibration. This will cause the planetary sphere itself to electromagnetically realign its vortices of reception of the in-streaming of cosmic forces expressing themselves as vibrational webs so that the earth will thus be a fourth density magnetized as you might call it this is going to occur with some inconvenience have we as we have said before due to the energies of the thought forms of your peoples which disturb the orderly con constructs of energy patterns within your earth spirals of energy which increases entropy and unusable heat this will cause your planet sphere to have some ruptures in its outer garment while making its appropriated magnetization for fourth density this is the planetary adjustment you will find a sharp increase in the number of people as you call mind body spirit complexes whose vibrational potentials include the potential for fourth vibrational distortions thus there will seem to be shall we say a new breed those are those incarnating for fourth density work there will also be a sharp increase in the short run of negatively oriented or polarized mind body spirit complexes and social complexes due to the polarizing conditions of the sharp delineation between fourth density characteristics and third density self surface orientation those who remain in fourth density upon this plane will be of the so-called positive orientation many will come from elsewhere for it would appear that with all of the best efforts of the confederation which includes those from your people's inner planes inner civilizations and those from other dimensions the harvest will still be much less than that which this planetary sphere is capable of comfortably supporting in service I would like to make a point clear now that I under, I'm sure of myself. People of this planet, following any religion or no religion at all, or having no intellectual knowledge of the law of one or of anything at all, can still be harvested into fourth density if they are of that vibration. Is that not correct? This is correct. However, you will find few who are harvestable whose radiance does not cause others to be aware of their what you may call spirituality, the quality of the mind-body-spirit complex distortion. Thus, it is not particularly probable that an entity would be completely unknown to his immediate acquaintances as an unusually radiant personality, even were this individual not caught up in any of the distortions of your so-called religious systems. You spoke of the alleviation of karma being forgiveness. I'm having a hard time phrasing this question. I think I'll have to come back to it. I'll ask this other question. Can you tell me why the earth will be fourth density positive instead of fourth density negative after the cycle is complete since it seems there's greater negative population? I am raw. The earth seems to be negative. That is due to the quiet, shall we say, horror, which is the common distortion which those good or positively oriented entities have towards the occurrences which are of your space-time present. 
However, those oriented and harvestable in the ways of service to others greatly outnumber those whose orientation towards service to self has become that of a harvestable quality. In other words, there will be fewer negative entities being harvested into fourth density than there will be positive. Is this correct? This is correct. The great majority of your people will repeat their density. Uh, am I to understand that the, the harvest will occur in the year 2011 or will it spread? This is an approximation. We have stated we have difficulty with your time space. This is an appropriate, probable, possible time space nexus for harvest. Those who are not in incarnation at this time will be included in the harvest. So here we see it's not stuck that it was 2011 or not. But it does feel like there's been some sort of Mandela effect around the period of 2010 to 2013, where we started to see distortions in the time field. Bentino Massaro seems to conclude that when we look at the law of one material, remember that we're monitoring something that now exists in a different timeline and that the harvest might have occurred on a different planet at a different time in a different way. Questioner, thank you very much. I don't wish to take up extra time by asking questions over again. Some are so important. I try to ask some similar questions in different ways to expand on the answer. Seems to be what we're getting at. Maybe not. In the book Owaspe, it states that if an individual is more than 50% for others, that is, goes for over 50% of service to others, and is less than 50% for service to self, then he is harvestable. Is this a correct statement? I am wrong. This is correct. If the harvesting is to be for the positive fourth dimensional level, what must be the entity's percentage, shall we say, if he is harvested for the negative? The entity who wishes to pursue the path of service to self must attain a grade of five. That is 5% service to others, 95% service to self. It must approach totality. The negative path is quite difficult to attain harvestability upon and requires great dedication. Why is the negative path so much more difficult a path to attain harvestability upon than the, the positive? This is due to a distortion of the law of one which indicates that the gateway to intelligent infinity be a gateway at the end of a straight and narrow path, as you may call it, to attain 51% dedication to the welfare of other selves is as difficult as attaining a grade of 5% dedication to other selves. The shall we say sinkhole of indifference is between those two. Well then if an entity is harvested into fourth density with a grade, let's say of 51% for others, 49% for self, what level of fourth density would he go into? I'm assuming there are different levels of fourth density. This is correct. Each enters the subdensity which vibrates in accordance with the entity's understanding. At this time, near the end of the cycle, how are reincarnations into the physical allocated, shall I say, on this planet in our own? I am Ra. Entities wishing to obtain critically needed experience in order to become harvestable are incarnated with priority over those who will, without too much probable possible doubt, need to re-experience this density. How long has this been going on, this type of allocation? This has been going on since the first individual entity became conscious of its need to learn the lessons of this density. This was the beginning of what you may call a seniority by vibration. Can you explain what you mean by a seniority by, by vibration? I am wrong. This will be the final question of this session of working. The seniority by vibration is the preferential treatment, shall we say, which follows the ways of the law of one which encourages harvestable individuals, each individual becoming aware of the time of harvest and the need on a self level to bend mind, body and spirit towards the learned teaching of these lessons is given priority in order that this entity may have the best possible chance, shall we say, of succeeding in this attempt. May we ask at this time if there are any other questions? Thank you. As we near the end of this master cycle, there may be an increasing amount of catalyst for entities. 
I'm wondering if as the planetary vibrations mismatch, somewhere with the fourth density vibrations and catalyst is increased, if this will create a slight amount of more polarization thereby getting a slightly greater positive harvest because of this catalyst and in the same way create a more negative polarization and then get a slight amount more negative harvest by this mechanism of transition that is unfortunately somewhat more catalytic than it would be if the planet had reached a higher state of consciousness does this happen i am raw the question must be answered in two parts firstly the planetary catastrophes as you may call them are a symptom of the difficult harvest rather than a consciously programmed catalyst for harvest thus we do not concern ourselves with it for it is random in re respect to conscious catalysts such as we may make available the second portion is this the results of the random catalyst of what you call the earth changes are real ra and are also random thus we may see probability possibility vortices going towards positive and negative however it will be as it will be the true opportunities for conscious catalyst are not a function of the earth changes but of the result of the seniority system of incarnations which at the time of the harvest has placed in incarnation those whose chances of using life experiences to become harvestable are the best is this seniority system also used for the service to self side for becoming harvestable on that side this is correct you may ask one more question at this time then what will be the time of transition on this planet from third to fourth density i am raw this is difficult to estimate due to the uncharacteristic anomalies of this transition there are at this space-time nexus beings incarnate which have begun fourth density work however the third density climate of planetary consciousness is retarding the process at this particular nexus the possibility probability vortices indicate somewhere between 100 and 700 of your years as transition period this cannot be accurate due to the volatility of your people at this space time has the vibration of the basic of the photon of all of our particles increased in frequency already this is correct it is the influence which has begun to cause thoughts to become things as an example you may observe the thoughts of anger become these cells of the physical body complex going out of control to become what you call the cancer what assuming that we are are our vibration i'm assuming this vibration started increasing between 20 and 30 years ago is this correct the first harbingers of this were approximately 45 of your years ago the energy is vibrating more intensely through 45 year period preceding the final movement of vibratory matter shall we say through the quantum leap as you would call it starting then 45 years ago and taking the entire increase in vibration that we will experience in this density change approximately what percentage of the way through the increase of vibration are we right now i am raw the vibratory nature of your environment is true color green this is at this time heavily overwoven with the orange ray of planetary consciousness however the nature of quanta is such that the movement over the boundary is that of discrete placement of vibratory level thank you a very important concept does the fact that your the basic vibration that we experience now is green true color or fourth density account for the fact that there are many mental effects upon material objects that are now observable for the first time in a mass way like the bending of metal by mind this is shall be the final query in total of this working this is not only correct but we suggest that you take this concept further and understand the great number of entities with the so-called mental diseases being due to the effect of this green ray true color upon the mental configurations of those unready mentally to face the first self for the first time are there any brief queries before we close just two with respect to what you said would then people incarnating here by seniority of vibration who incarnate for the service to self path be ones who would have extreme difficulty mentally with green ray vibration this is incorrect 
It is rather the numbers who have distracted themselves and failed to prepare for this transition, yet who are somewhat susceptible to its influence who may be affected. Then the big difference in harvestability between third and fourth density is that the end of the third density, the individual is harvested as a function of individual violet ray. But in fourth density, it is the equivalent of violet ray then for the so entire social memory complex that must be of a harvestable nature to go to fifth density. I am Ra. This is correct, although in fifth density entities may choose to learn as a social memory complex or as mind-body-spirit complexes and may graduate to sixth density under these conditions for the wisdom density is an extremely free density where the lessons of compassion leading to wisdom necessarily have to do with the other selves. In fourth density, the questioner asks, on this planet, after we are totally transitioned and the harvest is complete, fourth density beings will be incarnate on the surface of this planet as we know it now? This particular surface, is that correct? I am wrong. The probability possibility vortices indicate this to be most likely. Then will, will there be at that time any fifth density or sixth density beings on the surface of this planet? Not a fairly long measure of your time as fourth density beings need to spend their learned teaching space time with their own densities entities. Then basically what you're saying is that the point the teachings of fifth or sixth density beings would not be too well understood by the fourth density. New fourth density. I am wrong. Do you wish to query us upon this point? I guess I didn't state that correctly. Is it true that the fourth density, new fourth density beings then need to evolve in their thinking to reach a point where fifth density lessons would be of value? We grasp the thrust of your query, although it is true that as fourth density beings progress, they have more and more need for other density teachings. It is also true that just as we speak to you due to the calling, so the information called is always available. It is simply that fifth density beings will not live upon the surface of the planetary sphere until the planet reaches fifth density vibratory level. We choose the values of you, of, you were given the values of better than 50% service to others for fourth density positive and better, better than 95% service to self for fourth density negative social memory complexes. Do these two values correspond to the same rate, shall I say, of vibration? I am raw. I perceive you have difficulty in expressing your query. We shall respond in an attempt to clarify your query. The vibratory rates are not understood as the same in positive and negative orientation. They are to be understood as having the power to accept and work with intelligent infinity to a certain degree or intensity due to the fact that the primary color, shall we say, or energy blue is missing from the negatively oriented system of power. The green blue vibratory energies are not seen in the vibratory schedules or patterns of negative fourth and fifth vi rates of vibration. The positive, upon the other hand, shall we say, has the full spectrum of true color time-space vibratory patterns and thus contains a variant vibratory pattern or schedule. Each is capable of doing fourth density work. This is the criterion for harvest. Did you say that blue was missing from fourth density negative? Let us clarify further. As we have previously stated, all beings have the potential for all possible vibratory rates. Thus, the potential of the green and blue energy center activation is, of course, precisely where it must be in creation of love. However, the negatively polarized entity will have e achieved harvest due to extremely inefficient use of red, yellow, orange, moving directly to the gateway indigo, bringing through his intelligent energy channel in the in-streamings of intelligent infinity. As we begin book three of the Law of One, there are a couple of questions, one of a fairly non-transient importance and one which I consider to be a bit transient that I feel obligated to ask because of communication with others. The first is clearing up final points about harvest for our friend. And I was wondering if there is a supervision over the harvest. 
and if so, why this supervision is necessary and how it works since an entity's harvestability is the violet ray. Is it necessary for entities to supervise the harvest or is it automatic? Could you answer this please? I am raw. In time of harvest there are always harvesters. The fruit is formed as it will be, but there is some supervision necessary to ensure that this bounty is placed as it should be without the bruise or the blemish. There are those of the three levels watching over harvest. The first level is planetary, and that which may be called angelic. This type of guardian includes mind-body-spirit complex totality, or higher self of an entity, and those inner planet plane entities which have been attracted to this entity through its inner seeking. The second class of those who ward this process are those of the confederation, who have the honor slash duty of standing in the small places at the edge of the steps of light slash love so that those entities being harvested will not, no matter how confused or unable to make contact with their higher self, stumble and fall away for any reason other than the strength of the, lo of the light. These confederation entities catch those who stumble and set them aright so that they may continue into the light. The third group watching over this process is that group you call the guardians. This group is from the octave above our own and serves in this manner as light bringers. These guardians provide the precise emissions of light slash love in exquisitely fastidious disseminations of discrimination so that the precise light love vibration of each entity may be ascertained. Thus, the harvest is automatic in that those harvested will respond according to that which is unchangeable during harvest. That is the violent ray emanation. However, these helpers are around to ensure a proper harvesting so that each entity may have the fullest opportunity to express its violet ray selfhood. Questioner. When the planetary axes align, will they realign 20 degrees east of north to conform to the green vibration? We fear that this shall be the last question as this entity rapidly increases its distortion towards what you call pain of the body complex. There is every indication that this will occur. We cannot speak of the certainties, but are aware that the grosser or less dense materials will be pulled into conformation with denser and lighter energies which give your logos its proceedings through the realms of experience. Maybe you answer any brief queries at this time. Thank you. In trying to understand the energies of create, creative energies, it has occurred to me that I really do not understand why unusable heat is generated as our earth moves from third into fourth density. I know it has to do with disharmony between the vibrations of third and fourth density, but why is this would show up as a physical heating within the earth is beyond me. Can you enlighten me on that? The concepts are somewhat difficult to penetrate in your language. However, we shall attempt to speak to the subject. If an entity is not in harmony with its circumstances, it feels a burning within. The temperature of the physical vehicle does not yet rise, only the heat of the temper or the, the tears, as we may describe this disharmony. However, if an entity persists for a long period of your space-time in feeling this emotive heat and disharmony, the entire body complex will begin to resonate to this disharmony. And the disharmony will then show up as the cancer or other degenerative distortions from what you call health. When an entire planetary system of peoples and cultures repeatedly experiences disharmony on a great scale, the earth under the feet of those entities shall begin to resonate with this disharmony. Due to the nature of the physical vehicle, disharmony shows up as a blockage of growth or an uncontrolled growth, since the primary function of a mind slash body slash spirit complexes body co bodily complex is growth and maintenance. In the case of your planet, the purpose of the planet is the maintenance of orbit and the proper location or orientation with regards to other cosmic influences. In order to have this occurring properly, the interior of your sphere is hot in your physical terms. Thus, instead of uncontrolled growth, you begin to experience uncontrolled heat and its expansive consequences. From last session, I would like to continue with a few questions about the fact that in fourth density red, orange, and green energies will be activated, yellow, blue, 
etc being in potentiation right now you say we have green energies activated they have been activated for the last 45 years i'm wondering about the transition through this period so that the green is totally activated and the yellow is in potentiation what will we lose as the yellow goes from activation into potentiation and what will we gain as the green comes into total activation and what is that process I am raw it is misleading to speak of gains and losses when dealing with the subject of the cycles ending and the green ray cycle beginning upon your sphere it is to be kept in the forefront of the faculties of intelligence that there is one creation which there is no loss there are progressive cycles for experiential use by entities we may now address your query as the green ray cycle or the density of love and understanding begins to take shape the yellow ray plane or earth which we now enjoy in your dance will cease to be inhabited for some period of your space-time as the space-time necessary for fourth density entities to learn their ability to shield their density from that of third is learned after this period there will come a time when the third density may again cycle on the yellow ray sphere however there is another sphere congruent to a great extent with yellow ray forming this fourth density sphere coexists with first second and third it is of a denser nature due to the rotational core atomic aspects of its material we have discussed this subject with you the fourth density entities which incarnate at this space time are fourth density in the view of experience but are incarnating in less dense vehicles due to the desire to experience and aid in the birth of fourth density upon this plane you may note that the fourth density entities have a great abundance of compassion now these entities incarnate into a third density vibratory body i am trying to understand how this transition becomes uh, takes place from third to fourth density i will take example of one of these entities of which we are speaking who is now in a third density body will he grow older and then will it be necessary that he die from the third density physical body and reincarnate in a fourth density body for that transition i am wrong these entities are those incarnating with what you may call a double body in activation it will be noted that the entities birthing these fourth density entities experience a great feeling of shall we say the connection and the use of spiritual and en energies during pregnancy this is due to the necessity for manifesting the double body this transitional body is one which will be shall we say able to approach fourth density vibratory complexes as the in-streaming increases without the accompanying disruption of the third density body if a third density entity were shall we say electrically aware of fourth density in full the third density electrical fields would fail due to incompatibility to answer your question about death these entities will die according to third density necessities questioner you are saying then for that transition from third to fourth density for one of the entities with doubly activated bodies in order to make the transition the third density body will go through the process of what we call death is that correct the third and fourth combination densities body will die according to the necessity of third density mind body spirit complex distortions we may respond to the heart of your questioning by noting that the purpose of such combined activation of mind body spirit complexes is that such entities to some extent consciously are aware of those fourth density understandings which third density is unable to remember due to the forgetting thus fourth density experience may be begun with the added attraction to an entity oriented towards service to others of dwelling in a troubled third density environment and offering its love and compassion would it would the purpose in transitioning to earth prior to the complete changeover then be for the experience to be gained here during the harvesting process this is correct these entities are not wonders in the sense that this planetary sphere is their fourth density home planet however the experience of this service is earned only by those harvested third density entities which have demonstrated a great deal of orientation towards service to others it is a privilege to be allowed this early an incarnation as there is much experiential catalyst in service to other selves at the harvesting there are many children now who demonstrate the ability to bend men 
metal mentally, which is a fourth density phenomenon. Would most of these children then be this type of entity of which we speak? This is correct. Is the reason that they can do this and the fifth and sixth density wanderers who are here cannot do it the fact that they have the fourth density body in activation? This is correct. Wanderers are third density activated in mind, body, spirit and are subject to the forgetting which can only be penetrated with discipline, meditation and working. I am assuming that the reason for this is that the first sense the entities of harvestable third densities who have very recently come here, they're coming here late enough so that they will not affect the, shall I say, polarization through their teachings. They are not infringing on the first distortion because they are children now and they won't be old enough to really affect any of the polarization until the transition is well into transition. However, the wanderers who came here and are older and have a greater ability to affect polarization must do that affecting as a function of their ability to penetrate the forgetting process in order to be within this first distortion. Is this correct? This is quite correct. Okay, now as this transition continues into fourth density activation, in order to inhabit this fourth density sphere, it will be necessary for all third density physical bodies to go through the process which we refer to as death. Is this correct? Now, are there any inhabitants at this time of the fourth density sphere who have already gone through this process? Is it now being populated? This is correct only in the very, shall we say, recent past. I would assume this population is from other planets. Since the harvesting has not yet occurred yet on this planet, it is from planets where the harvesting has already occurred. Is this correct? This is correct. Then are these entities visible to us? Could I see one of them? Would he walk upon our surface? We have discussed this, Ross says. These entities are in dual bodies at this time. Sorry, I'm so stupid on this, but this particular concept is very difficult for me to understand. It is something that I'm afraid requires some rather dumb questions on my part to fully understand. I don't think I'll ever fully understand, but even get the grasp of it. Then as the fourth density sphere is activated, there is heat energy being generated. I assume this heat energy is generated in the third density sphere only. Is this correct? This is quite correct. The experiential distortions of each dimension are discrete. Then at some time in the future, the fourth density sphere will be fully activated. What is the difference between full activation and part activation of this sphere? I am raw. At this time, the cosmic influxes are conducive to true color green core particles being formed and material of this nature thus being formed. However, there's a mixture of this yellow ray and green ray environments at this time necessitating the birthing of transitional mind body spirit complex types of energy distortions. At full activation of the true color green density of love, the planetary sphere will be solid and inhabitable upon its own and birthing that takes place will be have been transformed through the process of time, shall we say, to the appropriate type of vehicle to appreciate in the full fourth density planetary environment. At this nexus, the green ray environment exists to a far greater extent in time space than in space time. Could you describe the difference that you are speaking of with respect to time slash space and space slash time? I am raw. For the sake of your understanding, we will use the working definition of inner planes. There is a great deal of subtlety invested in this sound vibration complex, but it by itself will perhaps fulfill your present need. Questioner, I will make this statement and you correct me. What we have is, as our planet is spiraled by the spiraling action of the entire major galaxy as the big wheel in the sky turns and our planetary system spirals into the new position, the fourth density vibrations become more and more pronounced. These atomic core vibrations begin to create more and more completely the green, that is the green core vibrations complete more and more completely the fourth density sphere and the fourth density bodily complexes for inhabitation of that sphere. Is this correct? I am raw. This is partially correct. To be correct is the concept of the creation of green ray density body complexes. 
This creation will be gradual and will take place beginning with your third density type of physical vehicle and through the means of bisexual reproduction become by evolutionary processes the fourth density body complexes. Then are these entities of which we spoke the third density harvestable who have been transferred? Are they the ones who then will by bisexual reproduction create the fourth density complexes that are necessary? The influxes of true color green energy complexes will more and more create the condition in which the atomic structure of cells of body complexes and that of the density of love. The mind-body-spirit complexes inhabiting these physical vehicles will be and to some extent are those of whom you spoke of and as harvest is completed the harvested entities of this planetary influence. Is there a clock-like face, shall I say, associated with the entire major galaxy of many billions of stars, so that as it revolves it carries all of these stars and planetary systems through transitions from density to density? Is this how it works? I am raw. You are perceptive. You may see a three-dimensional clock, face, or spiral of endlessness which is planned by the Logos for this purpose. I understand that the Logos did not plan for the healing effect that occurs in our third density transition into fourth. Is this correct? This is correct, except for the condition of free will, which is, of course, planned by the Logos, as it is itself is a creation of free will. In this climate, an infinity of events or conditions may occur that cannot be said to be planned by the Logos, but can be said to have been freely allowed. It would seem to me the heating effect that takes place on the planet is analogous to a disease in the body and would have as a root cause the same or analogous mental configuration. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct, except that the spiritual configuration as well as mental biases of your peoples has been responsible for these distortions of the body complex of your planetary sphere. When the third density goes out of activation and into potentiation, that will leave us with a planet that is first, second, and fourth density. At that time, there will be no activated third density vibrations on this planet. Am I correct in assuming that all third density vibrations on this planet now are those vibrations that compose the bodily complexes of entities such as us, and that is the sum total of third density vibrations on this planet at this time? I am raw. This will be the fa last full query of this working. This instrument has energy left due to a transfer, but there is discomfort. To answer your query, this is incorrect only in that in addition to the mind-body-spirit complexes of third density, there are the artifacts, thought forms, and feelings which these co-creators have produced. This is third density. I may be recovering a little ground already covered in a previous questioning today, but I am trying to get a clear picture of some things that I don't understand and possibly develop a plan of my own activity in the future. I have the impression that in the near future, the seeking will increase by many who are incarnate in the physical on this planet. Their seeking will increase because they will become more aware of the creation that it is opposed. I might say to the creation of man, their orientation and their thinking will by catalyst of a unique nature be reoriented to thinking of the more basic concepts shall i say is this correct the generalities of expression can never be completely correct however we may note that when faced with the hole in the curtain an entity's eyes may well peer for the first time through the be window beyond this tendency is probable given the possible probable vortices active within your space time time space continua at this nexus we would seem to have space, dual catalysts operating, and the question is which one is going to act first? The prophecies I will call them made by Edgar Casey indicate many earth changes, and I am wondering about the mechanics of describing what we call the future. Raw, it has been stated, it is not part of time, and yet we concern ourselves with probability and possibility vortices. It is very difficult for me to understand how the mechanism of prophecy operates what is the value of, pro of a prophecy such as casey made with respect to earth changes with respect to all of these scenarios i am raw consider the shopper entering the store to purchase food with which to furnish the table for the time period you call a week 
Some stories have some items, some others variant set of offerings. We speak of these possibility probability vortices when asked with the understandings that are as a can, a jar, a portion of goods in your store. It is unknown to us as we can scan your time space whether your peoples will shop hither or yon. We can only name some of the items available for the choosing. The shall we say record which the one you call Edgar read from his is useful in that same manner. There is less knowledge in this material of other possibility probability vortices and more attention paid to the strongest vortex. We see the same vortex but also see many others. Edgar's material would be likened unto 100 boxes of your cold cereal, another vortex likened unto 3 or 6 or 50, another product which is eaten by your peoples for breakfast. That you will breakfast is close to certain that menu is your own choosing. The value of prophecy must be realized to be only that of expressing possibilities. Moreover, it must be, in our humble opinion, carefully taken into consideration that any time-space viewing, whether by one of your time-space or by one such we view the time-space from a dimension, shall we say exterior to it, will have diff quite a difficult time expressing time measurement values. Thus, prophecy given in specific terms is more interesting for the content or type of possibility predicted than for the space-time nexus or its supposed occurrence. So we have the distinct possibility of two different types of catalyst creating an atmosphere of seeking that is greater than which we experience at the present. There will be much confusion, especially in the scenario of earth changes, simply because they have been many predictions of these changes by many groups giving various and sundry reasons for the changes. Can you comment on the effectiveness of this type of catalyst and the, I, the rather wider pre-knowledge of the coming changes but also the rather wide variation in, shall I say, explanation for these changes. I am wrong. Given the amount of strength of the possibility-probability vortex, which posits the expression of the planet itself, of the difficult birthing of the planetary self into fourth density, it will be greatly surprising were not many of which have some access to space-time able to perceive this vortex. The amount of this cold cereal in the grocery, to use our previous analogy, is disproportionately large, which prophecies does so from a unique level or vibration configuration. Thus biases and distortions will accompany much prophecy. Then each of the wanderers here acts as a function of the biases he has developed. In any way, he sees fit to communicate or simply be in his polarity to aid the consciousness of the planet? Is there any, shall I say, more physical way that he aids in? What I mean is, do the vibrations somehow add, just as electric polarity or changing battery or something, does this also aid the planet, just the physical presence of the wanderers? I am raw. This is correct, and the mechanism is precisely as you state. We intended this meaning in the second portion of our previous answer. You may at this time note that as with any entities of each wanderer has its unique abilities, biases, and specialties so that from each portion of each density represented among the wanderers comes an array of pre-incarnative talents which then may be expressed upon this plane which you now experience so that each wanderer in offering itself before incarnation has some special service to offer in addition to the doubling effect of the planetary love and light and the basic function of serving as a beacon or shepherd. Thus there are those fifth density whose abilities to express wisdom are great. There are fourth and sixth density wonders whose ability to serve as shall we say passive radiators or broadcasters of love and love light are immense. There are many others whose talents brought into this density are quite varied. Thus wanderers have three basic functions once the forgetting is penetrated. The first two being basic, the tertiary one being unique to that particular mind-body-spirit complex. We may note at this point, while you ponder the possibility-probability vortices, that although you may have many, many items which cause distress and thus offer seeking and service opportunities, there's always one container in that store of peace, love, light, and joy. This vortex may be very small, but to turn one's back upon it is to forget the infinite possibilities of the present moment. Could your planet polarize towards harmony in one fine, strong moment of inspiration? Yes, my friends. 
it is not probable but it is ever possible how common in the universe is a mixed harvest for a planet of both positive and negatively oriented mind body spirit complexes among planetary harvests which yield in harvest of mind body spirit complexes approximately 10% are negative approximately 60% are positive and approximately 30% are mixed with nearly all harvest being positive in the event of mixed harvest it is almost unknown for the majority of the harvest to be negative when a planet moves strongly towards the negative there's almost no opportunity for the harvestable positive polarization can you tell me why there is almost no opportunity in that case the ability to polarize positively requires a certain degree of self-determination then as these final days of the cycle transpire if the harvest were to occur now today it would have a certain number of harvested positively and negatively and a certain number of repeaters i'm going to assume that because of the uh, the catalyst which we'll experience between now and the actual harvesting time these numbers of harvestable entities will increase generally speaking not particularly with respect to this planet but with, with respect to a general experience shall we say in harvesting how big an increase in harvestable entities can you logically assume will occur because of the catalyst that occurs in the final period such as this one or am I making a mistake in assuming that other planets have added catalysts at the end of harvesting period when they have a mixed harvest I am raw in the event of mixed harvest there is nearly always disharmony and therefore added catalyst in the form of your so-called earth changes in this assumption you are correct it is it is the confederation's desire to serve those who may indeed seek more intensely because of this added catalyst we do not choose to attempt to project the success of added numbers to the harvest for this would not be appropriate we are servants if we are called we shall serve with all our strength to count the numbers is without virtue now the added catalyst at the end of the cycle is a function specifically of the orientation of the consciousness that inhabits the planet the consciousness has provided the catalyst for itself in orienting its thinking in the way it has oriented it thus acting upon itself the same as catalyst of bodily pain and disease act upon the single mind body spirit complex i made this analogy once before but reiterated at this time to clarify my own thinking and seeing the planetary entity as somewhat of a single entity made up of billions of mind body spirit complexes is my viewpoint correct you are quite correct in a transition from third to fourth density we have two other possibilities then other than the, that type that we are experiencing now we have the possibility of a totally positively polarized harvest and the possibility of a totally negative polarized harvest that i understand have occurred elsewhere in the universe many times when there is a totally negative polarized harvest when a whole planet that is has negatively polarized and makes the transition from third to fourth density does the planet have the experience of the distortion of disease that this planet now experiences prior to that transition you are perceptive the negative harvest is one of intense disharmony and the planet will express this the planet has a certain set of conditions prior to transition into fourth density that is in late third density and the conditions are different in early fourth density could you give me an example of a negatively polarized planet and the conditions in late third density and early fourth density so that i can see how they change i am raw the vibrations from third to fourth density change on a negatively oriented planet precisely as they do upon a positively oriented planet with fourth density negative comes many possibilities and possibilities of which you are familiar the fourth density is more dense and it is far more difficult to hide the true vibrations of the mind body spirit complex this enables fourth density negatives as well as positives the chance to form social memory complexes it is enables negatively oriented entities the opportunity for a different set of parameters with which to show their power over others and to be of service to the self the conditions are the same as far as vibrations are concerned i was concerned about the amount of physical distortions disease and that sort of thing in third density negative just before harvest and in fourth density negative just after harvest or in transition what are the conditions of the physical problems disease at late third density negative each planetary experience is unique 
The problems, shall we say, of bellicose actions are more likely to be of pressing concern to late third density negative entities than the Earth's reactions to the negativity of the planetary mind, for it is often by such warlike attitudes on a global scale that the necessary negative polarization is achieved. As fourth density occurs, there is a new planet, a new physical vehicle system gradually expressing itself and the parameters of bellicose actions become those of thought rather than manifested weapons. Well, then is physical disease and illness as we know it on this planet rather widespread on a third density negative planet just before the harvest into a fourth density negative? Physical complex distortions of which you speak are likely to be less found as fourth density negative begins to be probable choice of harvest due to the extreme interest in the self which characterizes the harvestable third density negative entity much more care is taken of the physical body as well as much more discipline being offered to the self mentally this is an orientation of great self-interest and self-discipline there are still instances of the types of disease which are associated with the mind complex distortions of negative emotions such as anger however in a harvestable entity these emotional distortions are much more likely to be used as catalyst in an expressive and destructive sense as regards the object of anger i have several different questions in this session i hope to establish by searching around with several different types of questions a point of entry into an investigation that will be fruitful i would ask if it is possible to increase the polarity without increasing harvestability i am raw the connection between polarization and harvestability is more important in third density harvest in this density an increase in the serving of others or the serving of self will almost inevitably increase the ability of an entity to enjoy a higher intensity of light thus in the density we may say it is hardly possible to polarize without increasing in harvestability thank you i'm sure that we're getting into an area of problem with the first distortion here and also with a difficulty in a bit of transient material but i have two questions from people that i'll ask although i consider especially the first one to be of no lasting value Andriha Puharic asks about coming physical changes specifically this summer. Is there anything that we could re to relay to him about that? We may confirm with the good intention of the source of this entity's puddles and suggest that it is a grand choice that may make to, by desire, collect the details of the day or by desire to seek the keys to the unknowing. And that is all the references to the harvest that are broken out in the Law of One I think we can probably get a few more if we do an advanced search, but that covers the majority of them. It's funny, I always think of the book Childhood's End when I think of harvesting. If you ever read that book by Arthur Clarke, it imagines that our planet reaches a point where these aliens come and help everybody out. Life's good and suddenly the kids start to transform and they have to move all the people on the planet away because this happens on planets and they just go around to different planets as these planets transform. There's an implication in this of, of warming as being a result of the awakening. A lot of this I don't understand. Remember again, when they say spirit, mind, body, spirit complex, that's just your soul. And so uh, it's talking about some changes and some of this stuff is deep. It's the metaphysics are complicated and it has a spiritual quality just in reading it. But in any case, I hope that this helped you to understand the harvest. And we may have already gone through the harvest and we're in the Mandela, some other universe that split off at the time of the harvest. And I don't know if we're on the, on, on the right side. I think all the sides are right. But I would like to get your impressions of the harvest because I still don't fully understand it. Uh, I, I plan on reading Seed Time in the Harvest by Neville Goddard. I don't think that they're related, but we'll find out but I would like to get your impressions of what you think the harvest means. And in any case, I hope that these words find you with peace and joy. And I imagine love for everybody that is listening to this love, light, joy, happiness, and abundance. Thank you for sharing this journey with me. All episodes of the reality revolution can be found at therealityrevolution.com. Check out the other episodes on the law of one. If you want further details of how this material came to be. And welcome to the Reality Revolution. Well, well, welcome to the Reality Revolution. Unlimited possibilities.
dedicated to the spirits who believe life is meant to be magical. Get out, yes, some really good meditations, and you discuss. It contains advanced viewpoints of the multidimensional human beings of the 21st century. I'm your host, Brian Scott. <laughs> Sometimes you need to go back. We were able to visualize with exploring stuff that's fun to explore. I can tell. Unleash your potential. Some topics on how to change the subconscious mind and some interesting. I'm your host, Brian Scott.